Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan here. Welcome back to another video in the journey to 100% completion on Animal Crossing New Horizons. So before we start this video, I want to just say that this is going to be probably the last recorded video in this series. And I know that this is only number two out of the series thus far, but I'm act because I'm posting this on release day, I wanted to get it out there as soon as possible. And I wanted to start the journey as soon as possible. From here on out, any video that you see regarding this journey is going to be taken officially from my Twitch stream. Uh, I currently stream on Saturday and Sunday mornings, and then I'm going to be adjusting my weekday streams to accommodate this game because I want to try and, you know, I want to play as much of this game as I can, and I want to do it as often as I can as well. So uh, the Twitch links are down below. It's also twitch.tv slash RyanFTW if you want to follow the journey on there as well. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just finish this video. We'll get this out there for you guys. And then hopefully I'll see you guys over there on the live stream um, where I will be interacting with you guys. And then, of course, continuing on with this journey. So, uh, you know, if you can't buy stop by the stream, then be sure to hit the subscribe button to follow up with the journey as we go along here. But for now, let's go ahead and get back into this. So uh, when we last left off, we started the campfire. We did a cheers. We named our island Diamond Island. Not the most clever name, but here we go. Ah, Ryan, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Ah, uh, maybe I'll go do that. It seems about time for a rest. Sounds good to me. But first, you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move left stick to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Ryan. Alright. Well, let me tell you, with the release time of this game, it's about to be sweet dreams for me in real life as well. Uh, I'm going to go and pick up some of these weeds here, just to kind of clean up the area around my tent. Can't tell if those are flowers or weeds that I just picked up. Uh, looks like it's just more weeds. Alright, so we'll pick up some of this stuff, make our area just a little bit cleaner here. Otherwise, I hope you guys are enjoying the game so far, if you picked it up yourself. I uh, would love to know what you guys named your island as well. Did you come up with anything much more clever than mine? <laughs> Alright, but I'm loving this game so far, and I've only been playing it now for only like 25 minutes, but, you know, I mean, you can't go wrong with Animal Crossing. Alright, a couple of packages. We have a radio here now. And we also have a, a lamp. Okay, so to interact with them, I just hit the A button. And so if I want to move this around... Oh, okay, so kind of go into a closer kind of camera angle there. So portable radio, I'm going to put... Oh, I'm going to kind of... Can I move that? Just like... Not really. All right, well, let me put the cot down first. There we go. So I feel like I should be able to move that, but it's not, I'm not quite sure of how to do that yet. So I'm just going to put the radio down here really quick. Oh, I guess not. I'll put the radio over here next to the, uh, next to the lamp here. Let me face that way a little bit. There we go. That's fine. I guess it doesn't turn off. Can I turn that off now? There we go. All right. Into bed we go. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. Me too. Me too. It's currently uh, 104 in the morning at the moment right now, so I have to work tomorrow. Or rather, now I have to work today. So <laughs> this is, I've, I don't really do midnight releases of games, but it's kind of the benefit of doing um, uh, online, online purchasing. Oh my god, KK. So, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. Oh, I missed KK. I missed KK, rather. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world is made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah. But take it from a cat who's been on the road. 
Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world in Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends? It's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene. Yeah. An island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. You'll be in sync with real time. So when I wake up, it'll be 1.05 in the morning. I believe. I exploit on Pokemon Sword and Shield quite a bit, so my time might be a little bit off. Oh, Ryan. Are you in there? Oh, I hope you haven't woken I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Alright, how do I turn this radio off? KK Waltz is currently playing. Turn off. Sorry, KK. Love your music, my man. But we're gonna rest you for a moment. I wonder when I can save. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Uh, wow, I needed that. Oh ho ho, yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip, and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our new... in our, in our new... in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right. So, could you try turning it on for me? Hmm? Alright, looks like it's working to me. Welcome. I'm a little iPhone. Good, good. It looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Ryan, have you ever used a smartphone before? <laughs> Exclusively. Sure have. Oh, I didn't realize one of the answers was I have one of my own. Very good, then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh yes, we simply removed most of the features, so... <laughs> I have one more thing for you. It's your itemized bill. Oh, jeez. So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course, your Nook phone. Hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of... 49,800 bells. <laughs> okay, like, yes, I'm totally ready to pay that. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes, yes, well then. Wait, you don't have any bells. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. With the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service. The Nook Mileage Program. Uh, what's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Diamond. I dare say the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees. And much more. Who's that? Oh, that's Tommy. <laughs> you, you can't kind of see him in the background, but he's right behind me. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees... But with this new service, there goes Tommy. Would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to the few other matters. To a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Diamond. And a client of Nook Inc. Me too. Minus the whole paying off a debt thing. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woo! <laughs> From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right screen corner. You can also save and quit your game after pressing minus. Alright, well... Here we go. We can literally do anything we want to now. And uh, I guess we'll get started by checking our mail here. 
Uh, gifts from Nintendo. Nintendo, thank you so much. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. Place in pocket, whatever the present is. And uh, we'll go and uh, we'll keep that for now. We'll, we'll keep it as like a, uh, is it dated? No, it's not dated. Oh, well, we'll keep it. Congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Another gift. All right, cool. So we'll keep those presents for now. What's going on, Tommy? How are you? Oh, Ryan, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop by for a chat, or to stop me for a chat. Alright, so if you stop for a brief moment, you get the map. What are these presents now? A Simply DIY Workbench. And a Nintendo Switch console. Okay, cool. Are we about to do like some weird Animal Crossing section? Am I going to be able to play Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch? On my Animal Crossing for my Nintendo Switch? Let's see. Uh, Nintendo Switch. Place the item. Let's place it down right there. Awesome. Can I turn it on? Nice. <laughs> that click right there. I love it. All right. Simply DIY workbench. Learn it. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. All right. So nothing I can do currently. My tent is a is a is a hot mess right now. <laughs> there's there's not really a lot of organization in it, but that's fine. Okay. So this pulls up the phone. So let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the camera here. Take pictures using various filters and effects. The pictures will be saved to the album on the home menu, and other users who use the same system will be able to see them. Okay, so you can kind of zoom in and out like that. You can go aerial view, do like a drone shot. What is that? So I whistled up to him, but he's like he's like looking up. Not quite sure. ZL does like a border. I don't know. L does. You can do like a cinema mode. You can do date and time. That's pretty neat. This adds like an Instagram filter to the photo. That's also pretty cool. All right, we'll get out of that for now. We'll take a look at that later. Nook Miles. Nook Miles, you're enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop in the Resident Services Center. Make the most out of island life. Earn Nook Miles. So this is probably going to be where the bulk of the 100% attempted run is going to be right here. Doing the objectives and stuff like that. Like, look at that. Look at that. There is a lot to do here. Um, so this is probably going to be the bulk of it. And then, of course, interacting with all the other villagers and stuff like that and trying to get the friendship level up with them is going to be another big thing, too. So uh, we'll see. Diamond Miles. Get Miles. Claim. You traveled a long way just to move to our little island and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage Program. So you earned your first miles. There are a lot of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. Claim. Claimed on March 20th. Nook Inc.'s patron. You got 500 Nook Miles. All right, that's 4,500 left to go. That's actually a good portion. Learning how to fish is an essential skill for living life on a remote island, hmm? Nook Inc. encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Okay, island togetherness. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is resident togetherness. Our gregarious greetings initiatives <laughs> initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. That's a lot. Throat's a little dry. You've got the bug. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. <laughs> flower power. Planting flowers makes our island more beautiful and can earn you miles, so grow wild. Yes, yes. Pick of the bunch. You'll get nook miles based on the amount of fruit you sold. Remember, if you sell our island specialty fruits on other islands, you might be able to get a better price. So, I'm not going to read all of these. There's quite a bit of them. Um, I felt like I even spent too much time just reading that just now. Custom designs. So, I remember doing this a lot on the Nintendo DS. Um, this is where you can go um, and you can make your own pixelated design. You can put it on your shirts and stuff like that. And uh, pretty neat. I, I'm not sure if I'll ever do this. I, I mean, I probably will. It'd be neat to have one of my logo and stuff like that. But uh, we'll see. So that's pretty neat right there. Glad they brought that back. So here we can finally access a bigger view of the map. You can also press X to change the settings and choose whether to display the mini-map during your day-to-day -day activities. Okay. 
So resident services is there, the airport's there, and then of course Lyman's and Phoebe's are there. Passport. The passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players when visiting another island, for example. You can change your photo, title, or comment at any time. Customize them to show off your style. All right, so Diamond Island, Cherries. I think Cherries is what it's showing that we currently uh, are growing. I'm pretty sure. Um, passport photo is fine. Comment. Um, I'll leave a comment. We'll say... Um, but like... Your... Awesome. <laughs> very, very wholesome. <laughs> All right, rescue service. Interesting. Use this service for an emergency situation on the island when your path is blocked and you're stuck. You'll be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required to use the service. Okay, gotcha. Call rescue services. No, we are totally fine. No need for rescue services at this point. So I did notice, though, that... Oh, I think I was getting a message, but I couldn't tell. Our Nook Miles is red now, so that means something happened. Um, edit credit. Your passport has some information you can edit. Take it slow, think about it, make your own. All right, we got some miles just for doing that. We got 300 miles from doing that. Not bad. So we're at 800 total now. And I think I don't have any more. I do not. All right. Can we take a look at the night sky? I love the night sky. In every video game, I love looking up at the night sky seeing like the stars fly by and stuff like that and then just seeing them kind of like twinkle in the sky too it's also good stuff let's just start picking some cherries here try not to miss anything bb i wonder if i can go inside of her tent looks like no one's here okay so she's out and about and i don't know if there's currently any way for me to like um see where they are without just like going out and finding them uh, I think I want to go to the services, actually, and I think I want to take a look in here and see if I can't craft something. I know that if I want to fish, I'm going to need a fishing pole. So the biggest thing is, how do I get that? Probably this. Ah, Ryan, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm? <laughs> it's true, sometimes cozy means very cluttered. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous, yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Hmm? Okay. So, here is the DIY part. I see you discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So, shall I put you down for the next available session? Uh, I'd love to. Absolutely. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. <laughs> Nothing like scheduling an appointment you can make five seconds later. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod. There we go, just exactly what I needed using common materials that you can find anywhere. Yes. For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials, hmm? All right. Well. Oh, how could I forget, hmm? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. Okay, I just wanted to check out something really quick. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Ryan. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook Miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed, yes, yes. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Inc. Okay, once per day, accessing the Nook Stop will award you bonus daily miles 
Day one is 50 bonus miles. Awesome. Please select from the following services. Well, for now, I don't want to do any of those. Thank you for your patronage. I want to go ahead and collect the five tree branches and get a fishing rod as soon as possible. That is objective number one for me right now. And actually, let me see how many I have. I currently have two. So we'll kind of just scavenge the island here for a moment. Take a quick look around. So one thing that I've noticed too a lot is that um, one of the things that you get is like a like a, a pole that you can use to vault over these rivers. Now the thing is, with the island that I chose, I think as long as I go down through the beach, I should be able to get across to the other side of this island without having to need one. I can't imagine they would add that, you know, add an island like that where you couldn't actually access half of the island until later on in the game. Um, or maybe they did. Maybe they did. Maybe I can't access it now. Who knows? I'll pick up a shell. Okay. So I have three. And I believe he said I needed five. We'll talk to Phoebe in a moment. I want to go ahead and try to get this fishing rod completed uh, as soon as possible here. Alright, so yep, I really cannot move off of this side of the... Uh, of the island. Oh, okay, there's some bells right there. So we just kind of shake some trees. I wonder if that will help produce some of these uh, tree branches that I'm needing. Question answered. Immediately. Immediately get some tree branches. And here's another one right here. <laughs> Oops, picked up weeds by accident. That's totally fine. Okay. I think it was five. It's either five or six. If it's six, should be no problem getting the other one. Um, but we'll try five and see how that goes. Ah, Ryan, found the necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Alright. So, craftable, flimsy fishing rod. Easy peasy. Five out of five tree branches needed. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do it up. Handyman. I made a flimsy fishing rod. So happy, so proud. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Okay, let's take a look. All right, he's blue, he's, he's airdropping me stuff. And we have another icon now, DIY Recipes. So I should be able to learn the recipe that the Nintendo sent to you uh, as well in the mail. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And then flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this video here as well. Man, I am looking forward to this journey so much so. This adventure of trying to get as much done on this island as possible. I uh, want to thank you guys for watching these first couple of videos in the series. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, I will be from here on out streaming the rest of my journey on twitch.tv slash ryanftw. We'll be trying to get, like I mentioned, as close to 100% of this game as possible. That means completing the objectives, paying off the debt with the, with the miles, uh, talking, getting the friendship leveled up with all the villagers and stuff like that, and then trying to catch everything, the fish bugs trying to pick all the flowers plant all the flowers we're going to try to do as much of this game as possible over on the live stream so if you like the video again as always please hit that like button subscribe for more videos like i mentioned if you're unable to make the live stream we'll be posting videos from the stream to this channel as we progress through that so really looking forward to either seeing you there or looking forward to having you guys follow along on youtube so that'll do it Again, my name is Ryan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me. Again, I hope to see you on the live stream. Hope to see you on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. All right, take it easy.